So let us talk about exception and event handling. So in the course of the program execution, many events may occur that were not expected by the programmer. So we see that there are exceptions and what are exceptions? These are exceptions which are not expected uh, by the programmer or not even by the system in which that program is running. So we distinguish between two such classes of events. The first is those that are detected by the hardware. For example, disk read error end of file. And there are other class of events, those that are software detectable, that is subscript range errors, division by zero errors. And uh, definition by it goes like this, that an exception is an unusual event that is detectable by either hardware or software, and that may require special processing, special attention, and some sort of programming to handle them. The terminology which are involved are the special processing that may be required when an exception is detected is called exception handling, right? Special processing is our exception handling and the processing is done by a code unit or segment called exception handling. So the code we write and the unit which does uh, do some special processing for our exception handling, they are called exception handling. An exception is raised when it is when it is um, you know inquiring or encountering some or the other associated events. So when a language does not include specific ex exception handling facilities, the user often handles software detection by him or herself. So it is not necessary that the programmer or the programming language should have an exception handling some programming language does do that but if it is not there they can handle it easily so how to handle uh, the exception handling user defined the use of a status variable or a flag which is which is actually a sign uh, a value in a sub program according to the correctness of its computation uh, like used in the c library functions and we can use a label parameter in the sub program that to make it return to different location in the caller according to the value of the label, which is used in Fortran. Also, there is one other way. We define a handler as a separate program and it parts its name as a parameter to the call unit. But this means that a handler as a program must be sent with every call to every subprogram. What are advantages to built-in exception handling? You know, implementing it and having it built in are you know different things so it's better always to have a built-in exception handling so without built-in exception handling the code required to detect error conditions can considerably clutter a program right so built-in exception handling often allows exception propagation that is an exception raised in one program unit can be handled in some other unit in its dynamic or static ancestry or a single handler can thus be used in different locations so built-in uh, exception handling, this forces a program to consider all the events that could occur and their handling or that could miss occur. So this is a bit, this is somewhat better than thinking about them. You already have it. You don't have to think about them. So built-in, uh, you know, exception handling can simplify the code of program that actually deals with this unusual or unexpected situations, right? This is an illustration of an exception handling mechanism. This is how we exception hit. These are exception handles. But whatever happens, if a zero divide occurs, then average is returned at zero. And we just print if error divisor, the total is zero. When the total comes to zero, we cannot, anything which is divided by zero is infinite. So we cannot handle it. So we have to show the user that C, the total is zero. Now you have to take some action or rather, you know, you can continue with the program. So the exception is division by zero, which is implicitly raised by causes, uh, a raise causes control transfer to the appropriate handle, wherever you want it to be, which is then executed. It may be your next statement, it's, it may be your sub functions, etc. But there are various issues for exception handling, First, this exception binding. Binding an exception occurrence to an exception handler, how do we do it? First at the unit level and at a higher level. At a unit level, how can the same exception raised at different points in the unit be bound to different handlers within the unit? And designing the exception binding 
at a higher level if there is no exception handler local to the units should the exception be propagated to some other unit if so how far right so if handler must be local then many needs to be written so if the propagation is permitted then the handler may need to uh, be too general to really be useful then there is uh, one important aspect in this design issue of exception handling which is called termination and resumption which we call it as continuation so after an exception handler executes see the control can transfer to somewhere in the program outside of the handler code our program execution can terminate so either going outside or termination this can happen so termination is the simplest solution and is often appropriate while resumption is useful when the condition encountered is unusual but they are not erroneous we don't want to uh, terminate the program so in this case some convention should be chosen as to where to return such as at the statement that raised the exception at the statement following the statement that raised the exception or at some other unit now uh, for others exception handling let us see is finalization means the ability to complete some computation at the end of execution regardless of whether the program terminated or normally or because of an exception supported so how are user defined exceptions specified are there predefined exceptions and should it uh, be possible to disable predefined exception if there are predefined exceptions should there be default exception handler for programs that do not provide their own and can predefined exception be explicitly raised and also are hardware detectable errors treated as exceptions that may be handled this is uh, just a uh, just, uh, type of example I wanted to show that exception handling in Java. These are the class, uh, class hierarchy of exceptions. There are various uh, programming languages like C++, like, like uh, Ada. Uh, we have excellent uh, this exception handling present there. Uh, in in C++, we do it by try-catch. In Java, what we do, there is a throwable class. Then we can have an error, we can have exception. If error is there, you can have a run out of heap memory that is error thrown by this JVM and error never thrown by user programs and should never be handled here or there. Or exception, this has to be handled, runtime exception or I exception. Runtime exception may be out of board exception and null pointer exception. So usually thrown by JVM when a user program causes a error. So you need to handle them. Now uh, coming to event handling, event handling is similar to exception handling. What is the difference then? The difference is that well, exceptions can be created with, uh, with uh, either explicitly by user code or implicitly by hardware or software interpreter. Events can be created by external actions such as user interaction through graphical user interface. So events have a somewhat difference with exceptions like um, you know uh, handling or interacting with graphical user interface. So in event-driven programming, parts of the program are executed at completely impredictable times, often triggered by user interaction with the executing program. So an event is a notification that something specific has occurred, such as a mouse click on a graphic button. So on, B, on a basis of this event, we do something. What we do? We do event handling. And this is a segment of code that, that is executed in response to the appearance of the event which has just happened. So event handling is useful in web application also, such as commercial application when a user clicks on buttons to select merchandise or web form completion, when event handling is used to verify that no error or mission has occurred in the completion of a form. Also Java supports two different approaches to presenting interactive display to users, either from application programs or from applet. So hope you got the idea of uh, exception handling and even handling. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.